Hey, Turtle Club, it is once again time for some mini land adventures. It is I, Mag Synchro, with Convertible Turtle Gaming, brought to you by CTG Studios. And more importantly, this particular game is actually a amazing little thing called Mini Land Adventure that has been created by Imlikowski Dev, published by Game Parrick, Playway SA, and Games Incubator. Right now, you have the prologue available for free on Steam, but when these videos do release, it should be available out there for you. And that's one of the reasons why we're excited. It's an actual preview game that we've been asked to review. So here we are, Episode 7. Uh, this is Day 8. So a little bit more than a day per episode, depending on how we get into it. We're actually approaching Day 9. We expected we'd be playing you know, a day at a time when we started these episodes, but the game is so gosh darn fun that we just can't help ourselves sometimes. So right now we've got ourselves in a bit of a pickle because it is nighttime, we do have things that we need to be doing in the game, but at the moment we're gonna have to fight our way through some undead. So, oh, ooh, ooh, these guys can actually swing through the, the, the wall. That's a first. All right, so here we go. All right, and Get us a little bit of stone. One of the things that I was thinking about since we had called it quits the night before, or the day before, depending upon how your calendar works, right? Is we probably would do really well to have a secondary ladder. Ooh, that wasn't good. Oh. And just because you are in your inventory doesn't mean the game is paused at all. Alright. Oh. Alright, 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 alright. We just gotta keep dodging, keep using a skeleton to... Oh, we are probably not long for the mortal plane here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, great. We, we got through that. Alright. Uh, one thing that we haven't made yet is this healing potion. And it takes some sap, and it takes some skeleton stuff. So let's, let's, let's see what that actually... Um... No, we, we don't have the things for that. We don't have any of the things for that. Okay, so what else can we make? We don't have any enchanted mushrooms. We are definitely low on the number of animals that we can butcher. Hmm. That is un very unfortunate. What can we cook here? An ostrich egg. We need to figure out how to get ostriches because if they just lay eggs, then that's super amazing for us. All right. Oh. I'm not sure what the bone mill is used for either. But, uh. Make all the bone mill we can because why not, right? Oh my gosh, all right, bone mill. Bone mill. All right, what does require bone mill? Anything in the tool section? Nope. Anything here? Nope, all right. Oh, that's not even a crafting table. You can tell how last night worked for me, guys. All right. Um, I think it's our furniture table that has bone mill. Stone statue. Sandstone table, sandstone bench. Ice statues. Yeah, definitely, definitely not sure what we're doing there. All right, well, we got some more cards. So we got some grassland. So grassland's gonna go over here. Get us some more sheep, hopefully. All right, and you know, we can pick us a, a biome. Um, let's go for more some more redwoods. Why not? All right. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba -ba. Redwoods. And 
save game, excellent. So we said that we were going to be getting some wood and harvesting a large pile of it. Um, that sheep absolutely ate our radish that we had there. Radish. Boom. More sheep. And it's just two radishes. Uh, here's our watering can. I think that's probably the end of our watering can. Oh, I stand corrected. Alright, so I think that's actually something we need to really probably do is get the watering uh, with the sprinkler going. And so let's go here, right? Nope. Yeah, sprinkler. So we need tin, we need. I don't know what that glowing thing is, but we need it. Alright, but more importantly, we need lamb chops. We need uncooked mushroom soup to turn into mushroom soup, and we need all of the fire. Our plank, our poor plank, it had no chance. Um, fuel fire, okay, there we go. That'll work, that'll work. Bum, 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 bum. All right. So let's eat the mushroom soup, we're good. And then, we're going to get our ax right here. And we're just going to chop down all of these trees and we're going to plant replacements for everything that we have available to us because we really just need all of the logs we can get so we can go back down the other round and then once we go into the other round we can start getting our massive fortress built uh, one thing that i definitely want to take with us to the underground this time oh there's some more maple all right that's fine uh, we'll just kind of let that free float for a little bit do, 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 do. I gotta admit that the the little the little upbeat music loop is just nice. some tiles so when we go down into the underground things are gonna look a little grim as we just added more spiders possibly more ants more just evil things to decide to completely be aggressive all right so let's take these put them here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and then we can start collecting all the maple. Oh, that's a log, though. The log's more important than the maple is. Um, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Bam! There we go. Come on, log. Come on, log. Everyone wants a log. All right. So, downstairs we go. And look! Here's this little area that we had yet to totally explore, which we can now explore. All right, so now we're back down underneath. We have a plethora of logs to try to help build some stuff as we go about it. We have some copper ore, we have some tin ore, and we have some actual copper. But what we have, more than anything, is some copper tin mix that we can start getting out of this furnace here. So, pull our fuel in, and start put all these in there it probably would not be a bad idea honestly at this point to build us a second forge and to um, actually just drop it here and 
Um, fuel, fuel, copper. All right, so one thing we do need is we need some more of that magic flame stuff. Hopefully we get some out of this. Nope, just 10. Okay, that's fine. I think as far as the spacing elements go, we're definitely gonna to need to build more stone for our massive base down here that we're gonna be building. Looks like we ran out of our stuff. That's fine. I gotta say the underground music. Such a nice difference between the above ground music, right? You know you're in a different zone. You know you're in a different kind of... Um, I guess we could say pentameter, right? Just kind of get that... here let's grab yep we need a rock there but we need this yeah, that's giving us plenty of light with that kind of spacing so that's where our torch spacing needs to be is like there okay which is perfectly fine That's just a little bit. Well, that's also because of this. So we want. We actually do need to take this down a notch, and probably put it here so we get that good spacing. And I don't like the dark spots. So we definitely want to. We want to. If we can, we want to try to make sure that we have plenty of light in case something wants to come after us. And I think what we do here is we do this, and then we do that. And that gives us a light here. So what do we got? We have more materials. We have more stone. I think we need to just do our stone masonry for a second. And it's dark above ground. We have definitely overstayed our welcome up ground. So uh, make some make some lots. That's what we're gonna do here. Is I think 21 ought to be good, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and then boom, boom. Put the torch there. All right, and we can now grab these forges. things that I just really love about survival crafting is just you get to build your base and you build it the exact way you want it and we know that those were both empty because we had our tin we had our copper and now we can make our tin copper mix not enough materials which is fine but now we can make bronze Bronze is the age that we are living in coming up. So, getting really excited, really excited, super excited about how this is all going. Alright, so what we need to do now is just take these stone floors. 
right. And stone four, stone four. So let's make some more stone four. And that's here. All right, and fill that in right like that. I want to say this is right here where we can make the torch, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, now we're going to have the dark spot, so we need to go one spot here. All right, so honestly, from reading the above right, though, we could technically move this over. Still, we're still pretty good. I mean, these are not the most ideal spots. And then we can just take this torch and move it over one. All right, so we should be good for that. Uh, it's still dark, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go and chill down here and see what we get. Um, oh, we have enough to make a healing potion, so let's make a healing potion. It fills our water up. At least there's that. <laughs> uh, it doesn't do anything for our food, though. So that was unfortunate. And I, I really had a pretty big mistake doing that twice like that. All right. Uh, righty. So let's just start kind of gathering our mushrooms. We're still got about, I don't know, got like three or four minutes left before I really got to hang off. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate, but it is as they say what it is. Oh, we can do this though. We can do this. So let's just make charcoal. Um, what? Need to collect an output first. Oh. All right. So this on the. Three charcoal, so it's it's a lot of logs. But this will at least start getting us torches. One, two. So now we can make sticks, which makes us torches. No space in inventory. Eh, that's okay. That's not exactly the bane of our existence in this game, like other games. But it does a really good impression. this torch at. I'm going to go grab that. Boom. Torch, torch. Alright, and then grab. Then torch, torch. Sticks. Torch, torch. Alright, so now we can kind of start being not exactly Johnny Appleseed with the torches, but, you know, the, the equivalent. that is turtle club we're gonna to have to for science explore and see what this is oh my gosh is that a bat is that what that is Snow World. So we can get ice cubes down here. That's good. Uh, we definitely need to drop some torches. So let's just drop torch. Drop torch. Drop torch. And we'll just be able to grab the ice cubes. What does the big block get us in the ice world, though? Uh, tin ore. Okay, that's cool. 
That's cool, and what's not cool though is that it is time for us to say goodbye. So we're going to have to call it quits here. We are super exploring down here. Made some pretty, pretty impressive progress. I am sandstone and bones, so bone mill's got to be used for something more than what we're getting. That's all I got to say about that turtle club. Yeah, there has got to be a whole lot more than what we're seeing as far as the bones go. But we do know now that we have so much more accessible to us. Now that we're down here in this underground, the wood is still the big thing. But we'll have to find out. We'll definitely have to find out. We are currently moving on to the next episode. Which means I'm about to, you know, call it good here. So let's, let's see what we have. Um... Man, this game is just so great. I really wish that it wasn't for the fact that I, you know, I have responsibilities and other things, and I really wish that I wasn't just kind of tired at the moment. But, uh, Turtle Club, I want to thank you all for watching uh, this mini land adventure, as far as the mini Mag vs. Wild episode series goes. Again, this game is coming out soon on Steam, April 10th. We expect it's going to be like 10 bucks. Once it comes out, um, you know, it'll it'll be one of those ones to pick up. It'll probably be on sale, to be honest, when it first comes out. So a lot of games do that, right? But right now you can play it for free uh, as well. Uh, well, that doesn't really help you because you're not going to see this as I'm recording this. But you can absolutely pick it up for free. The prologue allows you to play on normal mode in survival and to play up for the first seven days. We are beyond that, as you can see. There are some things that you are not able to craft. Most of the more advanced items are not playable or usable in the actual uh, intro version, the prologue version. But yeah, again, created by Mikowski Dav, published by Gamparic, Playway SA, and Games Incubator. It's coming out. They gave us a preview copy. I'm so stoked that you know this company just decided, hey, you do a lot of survival crafting. We'd like for you to just chill and just kind of play this so yeah so i'm gonna have myself a good night uh, turtle club you have yourself a good breakfast a good lunch a good dinner whatever you're about to do turtle club stay safe wash your hands and have a good one take care and thanks for watching <laughs>